name's Agent Serotoni, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to shoot film in the Polaroid 230 automatic land camera. Now, if you're going to shoot film in this camera, you'll first need film, and that film stock you will need is FP100C. This is color film stock, and it usually ranges from 23 to 25 dollars per pack, and each pack contains 10 exposures. Now, I will show you how to load the film. Okay, to load the film, first turn your camera over. Here you'll find a small switch right here. Flip it to the left, and the back just pops right open. And if there is an empty film cartridge in there, pull it out by pulling this tab right here, and discard it. Okay, now before we load the film, we need to do one important step, and that is to clean the rollers. This is important because these spread the chemicals in the chemical packet across the picture, making it develop. If these aren't cleaned, then there will be distortions in the picture as it develops, and we don't want that. Okay, to, t to clean the rollers, first you'll need to pull this little red tab out. Then, just pull out the whole roller assembly, like this. Now, you have access to the rollers. Okay, now, take a damp paper towel and clean them, especially the ends. This is where the t chemicals seem to build up the most. Okay, now that your rollers are clean, you can load your film. First, tear open the film pack. Now, you get this little silver foil package right here. Now, you tear that open from here. Okay, now that you've torn everything open, throw the box and foil away, and now that your back's open, slip it into here like this. But before doing that, keep in mind that you have all of these. You need to put these up over this little plastic bit and make sure none of them get under there. Then, just push this back into the camera like this. Make sure that all your tabs are here. Make sure this is pushed down properly. And I advise holding this black card and close the back of the camera and make sure both sides latch. Now, pull the black card. and discard it. Okay, now you're ready to shoot. Okay, now if you want to take a picture, the first step in doing this is to swing up this thing right here, and then you want to pull up on this thing that says one right here. You want to pull up on that. Simultaneously, you want to pull this green, I mean, um, gray, um, lever, and then it should just swing out after you pull up on that. Okay, second step is you want to pull down this lever. This is cocking your shutter. Okay, now to focus, you want to look into this little thing right here that says focus. And now what you're gonna see is two images that are slightly offset. And they're gonna, and when you focus, they're gonna go back and forth, and it's when it's focused, they meet in the middle, and they look like one image. Okay, now you might ask how to focus. Well, you push these two back and forth, right here, just like this. Okay, so now, but you, 
you won't be able to find the correct composition through the focus window. That's why you have to look through here after you focus. But try and keep it nice and steady in the exact same position as it was. Because if you focus and then move a little, your shot, your final shot will not be in focus. Okay, so now I'm going to move forward and backward. I'm going to have to get a little bit further away because... This lens can't go that close, but I do have a close-up filter, but I don't need that right now. I'm going to take a picture of the camera, okay? So I look, I see the two images meet right there, and now I'm going to take my picture. Okay, now that we're inside, we'll develop our picture. First step in doing this is you'll need to close the bellows. To do this, we'll press down on this here, and as we do that, we'll simultaneously push down here. And there we go. And now we'll just need to flip the viewfinder down. Okay, now that we've done that, we can develop the picture. You see this tab right here sticking out that says one on it? That means that I'm on my first picture. So what we're going to do is just suggest holding it like this, and we're going to pull that out. Okay, you can pull that out on any speed that you want, and it'll be just fine. But this, this second tab, this is important on how fast you pull it. You want to pull it um, not too fast, not too, too slow, but a moderate speed that's nice and consistent. Okay, well, let's do that now. Okay, now here is our picture. Okay, so right up here, you'll see a temperature, and under that, you'll see how many seconds that corresponds to. So, it's about 77 degrees in here, so that means I'll have to wait 90 seconds. So if I look at my watch, I did that at about 3.39, so now we wait. Okay, now it's been the proper time, and I forgot to mention something. You know how it said 90 seconds? Well, you don't have to, um, you don't, ha it doesn't have to be 90 seconds exactly, but it can't be under 90 seconds. If it's under 90 seconds, then it'll underdevelop, but it can't overdevelop because Fujifilm FP100C has a self-terminator. That means that when it reaches the correct development time, it'll just stop. So you could leave this for an hour and it would be fine, but you don't really need to do that because why, why would you? Like, why would you do that? Like, that's pretty pointless. But anyways, you can't leave it for under the de recommended developing time. Okay, so that said, now we're going to peel it. Peel it from well, any corner you like, any of these that is, and now do that. And there is our finished picture. Okay, now before I let you go today, I wanna to say one thing. Remember this discarded part of the picture that came away from it? Well, if you look closely, it actually looks like the image, but negative. But you might think that, oh, well, this is the negative. Well, it is. But before you go out and scanning this, you have to do one thing, and that is cut this and bleach the back. Now, I won't show you how to do that today, but I will leave a video link in the description showing you how to retrieve a negative from this. Okay, now with that said, goodbye and... Thanks for watching.